it faster. Is it no. Pesce. <laughs> Pesce. I can't even hold this straight. Karate. It was so Pretty early in the morning. We had a long night yesterday and we had to wake up. We had to wake up mad early. Luckily, I just randomly woke up because we didn't set an alarm or nothing. And we had a tour today, so we're doing actually a city tour. Um, we just found it, I think. Munchie, where'd you find this on? TripAdvisor? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So Munchie found it on TripAdvisor. So we just really want to know more about the city because all we've been doing is partying. So get a feel for all the important things that are here in the city so you know, my hair is a hot mess okay it's a hot mess right now especially because it's so windy you don't know bad man yeah 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 this body baby yo ah this body baby yo yeah yeah it's a bad man thing, yeah, yeah. Bad girl make you want to be based, nah, nah. Give me that thing where I go for you late, nah, nah. The way you back it up, the way you boss in a place, nah, nah, nah. So we are now at Kwame Nkumba. I'm probably pronouncing that so wrong, but we're at the National Park. <laughs> it's very, very beautiful in here. Know, if I was with Bay, we could just show the park a little bit. Steady on time, yeah, don't be late, nah, nah. Said I'm in love with you, and I'ma give you anything you want, and I'ma give you anything you need. But man, here, why not? Said I'm in love with you, and I'ma give you anything you want, and I'ma give you anything you need. But man, here, why not? Let me know. Tell me what you want to know. Me, I no go lose control. Bad man, I feel your flow. Why I'm slow? This one no be private show. Tell me, blow. Tell me what you want to know. I go give you all and more. Bad man, I feel your flow. Why I'm slow? This one no be private show. <laughs> Tries that they were heavily engaged in slave trade, but they never sold any of their people into slave trade. That's the Ashantis and the yeah. They were engaged like people. Hey guys, so we made it home a long time ago. We actually went to this place called Lord of Wings to eat food, and the food was actually really, really good. I like the food. It was kind of American, but I kind of needed some American food. At this point, I had chicken wings, and then I had sushi. It was actually really good. Um, uh, we're actually packing our stuff up right now because um, we're going to Cape Coast and Amina Castle tomorrow. So that should be... It's going to be a lot tomorrow, I feel like. Might be some tears. Um, but I'm excited for tomorrow. And we're going with um, tastemakers. But yeah, I'm still kind of sick. Shantae made... It's lemony. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah. Shante made this concoction. It's pretty pungent. Of lemon. Um, we had ginger, but the ginger was freaking, what was it? Rotten. Yeah, it was rotten. So, hopefully this cures us. It's not, well, 
Gotta inhale it for. <laughs> Doesn't it kick you? Yeah. It's not bad though. I just have to drink it while it's nice and hot. I know. She gives the shits. Oh lord. As soon as you put your tongue on it, it's like, ooh. Oh. Anyways, guys, we are gonna go to bed now. We gotta wake up. We gotta be at this hotel meeting spot at 6 a.m., which means we gotta wake up at 5 a.m. so we can put on a little makeup and all that. Y'all, 6 a.m., so it's like 12 something right now. I gotta go to bed, y'all. I gotta go to bed. Honestly, it's been so much fun here in Accra. I feel like you have to come here once in your life. Also, one week is not enough. We've been here seven days. But I feel like it's just not enough to do everything, especially being that this was the year of return and there was just so much going on, like party-wise and all that. So if you want to party and you want to explore, you got to stay here for a minute. And I would definitely come back here and do a lot more-ish. So we're actually leaving Ghana and then coming back to Ghana and going to Kumasi soon. So anyways, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow when we go to Cape Coast and I'll meet the castle. And I'm going to bring you guys with me, of course. I love you guys. Good night. Mwah. I broke my glasses again. These are my favorite glasses. Hey guys, what's up? So today is day seven and we are currently with the tastemakers. We are at Cocoon National, National Park and we're headed on that little canopy thing. I think we're doing somewhat of a hike. I had no idea we were going to do all this to be honest. I thought we were going to just go to Almina and to Cape Coast Castle but it looks like there's a whole detour right now. And I literally changed my outfit. I was wearing this like flowy dress and everything, but now I'm wearing this white dress <clears throat> and this cap right here, or this head scarf. So I don't know how I feel about it right now. I really just wanted to go to the castles, but we've got to make the most of it and roll with the punches. Say hey, guys. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I did not sign up for this. <laughs> We're going up a billion hills and I'm wearing flats. I'm wearing sandals right now. We were not told about this. I would have wore sneakers. <laughs> it's crazy and I have to put on my hair because it's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> About to do the canopy walk. Hmm. Which one are you guys gonna do? The one with more? Yes. Yeah. After this long walk, I'm about to slide to the sky. Like, is there seven canopies? So I think there's. Oh. Yeah, I think there's canopy. one with like six, or there's one with three. <laughs> Which one are you guys gonna do? This whole time. Which canopy walk? Is it if you get scared, you can go yeah. to the right. It's not a pride. I can't. <laughs> After this walk, you have to do all of them. Facts. <gasps> we are going on the canopy now. <laughs> We're on the canopy. This is this is literally just for a photo. Like this is not. Got a picture of you. Did you? Hold yeah. my hand and take one. You oh know, my like God. a lab on. one? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay, I got it. Oh. We are up in these trees, y'all. Up in these trees. It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say you oh, look at this view So pretty Guys, we made it. Woo. 
<laughs> okay guys so we just finished <coughs> doing the canopy walk it was fun it was all right but i literally feel like <clears throat> i could do that you know in another country <laughs> um but it was all right i just really 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 want to go to the two castles because that's like an experience you can only get here <sighs> and I'm sweating like <laughs> crazy. If you like adventure, then I highly suggest you to come here. You can do a nature walk and you can do the canopy walk. Um, I'm not sure if there's any other activities. But those are the main two. It was just far out. Like how long were we driving for? Like four hours? Yeah, four hours outside of the city. We survived, guys. Yeah, oh my so gosh, did you we, get made back to or to we made it. We made it. We made it from DC to Toronto. We made it. We made it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. So we are now at Oasis Beach. It's kind of like a restaurant kind of thing. I think it's called Beach Resort or something like that. Um, we're eating lunch now, and it's literally right on the beach. You can't swim on the beach actually, but it's really, really pretty, and it's packed right now. <laughs> so suitable. Could, so this is the food I, could, I got, jollof, chicken, so lettuce, and fries. One job I have <laughs> So we just finished eating and now we are walking to one of the castles right now. I'm seeing it right behind me which is so crazy. And we're right on the beach. Right on the beach. Literally this is the point of no return right here. So we're just walking um, through the sand. The sand is real hot but I'm... Um, Super excited to hear and like learn about the history and stuff once we get inside. Ladies and gentlemen, all of you are warmly welcome to Cape Coast Castle. This place was built in 1665. It's the youngest and the smallest of all the castles built in West Africa. But they built this place at the time when transatlantic slave trade was at the highest level. So they made sure the dungeons here were built bigger to hold about 1,000. 500 people at the same time. You know, people that came here were not all from Ghana. They brought them in from several parts of Africa. But from lots of African nations, the people had to walk. And the biggest number was taken from West Africa. Traveling from Togo through Ghana to Ivory Coast, I will tell you, is much shorter than traveling within Ghana from the north to the south. Wow. But people had to walk from Burkina Faso and several places all the way here. By the time you find yourself, your people are so weak. But then, they will still examine them anyways. People that are fit to be bought will be bought. Those that are not, the person that brought them will have to take them back to where they brought them from. But before the Europeans arrived here, endangered servitude was a thing that existed amongst the local African tribes. Ladies and gentlemen, if as a tribal leader, I get prisoners, I will use them domestically to construct, to farm, to fish and so many other things to feed my tribe so they can also get something to eat and a place to sleep. But then, if you're a servant, you can marry, you can have kids, you can own properties. At some point, you can even buy your freedom, purchase a land of your own, and then start a small village. When the village grows bigger, you can become the chief of that village. So look at indentured servitude. It was very flexible here in Africa. Until, the Europeans saw everything and decided if this is what's going on amongst the Africans, instead of we going out there to capture people by ourselves, let's go to the Africans, talk to them about the whole thing, and then they will we'll get people from them. So they started talking to each other, and then the Africans agreed, if you need them to work, it's okay, we are <coughs> going to bring you people for you to send out there to work for you. Whenever Africans brought Africans, European never gave Africans money in exchange because European money at that time had no value to any African around here at that time. So they were practicing the barter system of trade. Exchange of materials. Alright, so I'll be 
bro. This is oh, oh my gosh. Wow. This is how dark it was. This light here was never here. Oh my God. Because there was a door here, there was a door here. These two doors were locked up. If you are in this room, you don't have light, you don't have air, there is no food, there is no water. The people that came here were people that I always say I like the most. The African men that always fought to have their freedom by all means necessary. From day one till they die, they will fight. The Europeans will call them stubborn, recalcitrant, but I always call them freedom fighters. They will beat them up to a pulp and throw them into this room. If you are here, you are in shackles and chains without food and water, without light and air. There are people around you, but you don't see them. Yeah. You're going to hear people talking. What they say you don't even understand because of language barrier. The next day you're going to start realizing it's becoming rather very quiet. You will try to move up and down just to hear a person say something. But I tell you what, because of the conditions in here, all the people you try to move around touching are dead bodies. Oh my God. They pick up the dead ones, they throw them into the sea. And they always made sure the people in dungeons were out at the courtyard to witness the bodies being thrown out to serve as a deterrent. If you are here, you're not dead, you stay here till you die. In maximum three days, the strongest person is going to pass out. Because there is no air to breathe in, there is no water to keep you hydrated. How do you survive this? And as we stand here, if you assess yourself very well, you will realize you are sweating. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I am tripping in sweat right now. That was crazy. Can you imagine me in that for three days? I was we were in there for like five seconds. My heart was racing so fast. I would have had a panic attack. Captives, I don't call anybody that comes here slave because Africans that were brought here were literally captured. They were not slaves here in Africa. Captured, brought here, held in the dungeons for a while, sent to the Americas to be enslaved. So most of the times when people say slaves, I feel like it's a big disrespect to our ancestors that were held in these dungeons. So, they bring the captives here. They will be examined by doctors and nurses. Most of the time, these people will have a device called speculum oris or a mouth opener. They use that to force people's mouth open. They check the teeth, they check the joints. If you are fit to be born, yes, they will send you down to the courtyard of the castle. They will put a metal with the initials of the uh, Europeans on them into fire. It turns red, they pull that out. They use that red hot metal to brand the people, and then they will send them to the dungeon. And some people will die from shock of that burning eye. What the heck? They threw them into the sea. And as they threw people, people into the sea all the time, they realized that the bodies would just be vomited out by the sea. That is why they started tying the bodies up with stones or sometimes cannonballs to sink it. Get infected with lots of diseases. 
they will drink lots of alcohol, thinking that will wash it out of their system. They mess up with their kidney. They die. So one person will be staying out here. Nine windows on the living room. Five on the bedroom. Two on the main entrance. Sixteen windows. One person. And the sad thing is this was built above the male dungeon. Right down here. You'll be here. Enjoy the fresh air. Look at how it feels like to be out here. It feels like AC. Yeah. At the same time, the view, imagine yourself waking up to that view every morning. All your stress will be taken away. So we're actually about to go into the male slave dungeon right now. Well, the slave dungeon, enslaved dungeon, um, which I'm really nervous about. He said there's five rooms in there, and I can just imagine how hot it is. My gosh. punishment room. He's about to lock us in here or something. I don't know what's happening. This will be the female punishment cell for African women. The women that will never allow any European to touch a hair on their body. It's tiny. They will not bring their wives. Whenever they brought people, some of them, the next day there's a ship, so they will leave. Nice to okay, meet you. guys, nice to meet you. Just want to welcome you because you are back home. Yes. And you are right you. here at Albina Castle. My name is Isaac. Isaac, nice yeah. to meet you. And how do you like Ghana? I love it. Yeah, I hope that you try and return back home. And this is the year of return. Yes. Yeah. Enjoy your work. Thank you so much. See you later. Thank you. 
Yeah. What is your name? Crystal. Crystal. Okay guys, so we just made it to Elmina Castle. We were just at Cape Coast. Um, it was a crazy experience, very touching. I had to pray at the end, touch the sand, the walls, everything. Oh my gosh. Being here is just totally different than actually hearing the stories. Totally different experience. It was it was a lot man. But um, we're about to go into a Mila Castle and hear the different experience that you know came from this because there are two different experiences so I wanna know how all this went down. I heard this is even that the Portuguese were much interested was gold and they could say the rate at which our people here were giving out their gold gave them the impression that the land here could be in abundance of it so they named this place Almina in the Portuguese language it means the mine our people at that time couldn't pronounce it properly and it was corrupted in today's word Elmina and that invariably became the name of the town. Our people were subjected to the worst human atrocities ever to happen on the earth. The continent and Africans all over the world today had not fully recovered. Okay guys, so this is where the whole transatlantic slave trade. Um, this is the biggest castle here, I think, in Ghana. And yeah, there's so much history here. So much freaking history. Y'all yeah, have to come here. So this is where the drunk um, Portuguese used to go they, um, when they were causing trouble and stuff like that. They had this dungeon, but their dungeon had windows, it had um, a door for ventilation so they could breathe oxygen, while the other room for the Freedom Fighters um, is just pitch black, nothing, nothing is in there. It's very, very dark, you can barely breathe and it's extremely hot. Oh my gosh. So this is the door of no return. Look how small it is and narrow. Wow. And they said the sea level was a lot more like closer to here, so they just hop on the boat and they're shipped off. Okay guys, so it is our last night here in Accra. Hey girlies! 
so we don't really know where we're going we're gonna try twist even though it's a black masquerade party and we're not wearing black especially munchie <laughs> So I don't know if we're gonna get in, but we're gonna try to. It's like 12 a.m. right now um, And we're gonna party and tomorrow we leave at like I think our flight is at 12 or something And then we're headed to Ivory Coast, which I'm super excited about Our Uber is on the way as well. Hey, Mr. Uber. Mr. Uber GS 73 737 something Uber's here The Uber is here the hey. Uber Hello ladies, we gotta, oh god, chale chale. I can walk a mile in these shoes, honey. That's right. over you, ain't doing it. You got it? Guys, this is how they're making me live. You guys are good, right? Yeah. No, yeah. but I need AC because I have this. This is how they're making me live. No. Shit like that. Don't worry, the AC's on. Yeah. Wolfie knows, oh. too. The makeup on. <laughs> no, you can't see anything right now. <laughs> nah, we'll be there in no, no time, no time, no time. He's hands in my body, check him out. Guys, so we came back to Twist because that's where the party was supposed to be at. But as you can see, I have like tears in my eyes right now because so pretty much Munchie got in because he was holding on to the person's hand that was supposed to get in. And he's pretty much like, you are fucking stubborn. If you don't get back in five, four, three, two, one, we're, there's nowhere I can get back because look how packed it is, right? There's nowhere to go. He's like, I'm gonna push you. This man literally pushed me over, like literally punched me in my mouth. I can feel a cut in my mouth. And then he, then Shakti was, I was the one to fight him. Shakti was like, no, no, no. And then he pushed Shante. And then we're like, what the fuck? Shante's like, no, I'm done, we're done, I'm done. So let's go. So we left. Just to get out? It's a fucking disaster. So we're just like, no. So, so yeah, that's the deal right now. I was like, the face is mad. I was crying. Unless you come here at 8 o'clock and hold your seat, I should go to the bathroom. I'm like, they're so far. What are you talking about? I'm like, yo, let me go pee and come back out for them. I'm like, I'm not waiting for you. I'm not waiting for you. Five, four, three, two. I he hate like this? I don't wait it. All I know is that it was in my mouth. Oh my god. It's mine. It's mine. Hold on. How do you even open this shit? What kind of high tech car do you have, brother? What is a regular? What the heck? Sorry. Shante was like, Shante I was came, so she's bad. like, no, 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 don't do Yo, that. Yo, honestly, my whole hair would've came off. And then I she was like, <laughs> and then I went, <laughs> and then you got hit too? Yeah. yeah. And then that's when it was like, ooh, because obviously I'm big and tall, so I probably fall back a little bit more. <laughs> I can't believe this. I'm so sorry, guys. Literally, I thought you was right behind me, and I got in, and they're like, oh. 
yeah, your friends are coming. I'm like, okay, I'll wait right here at the door. I'm not moving nowhere. They're like, no, come you know, inside. I'm you like, know what no. they're doing? They're letting one guy in with one girl or two girls. That's it. That's what they were doing? That's it. A few moments later. night and we're doing the walk of mother effing shame. shame it's not shame it's 6 30. we're having a great time were we not wait <laughs> my toes munchie's dying i'm sorry i can't, I can't do it i can't speak for her but she was like you were like that stuff you were like you did it good you did it good hey. What my girl? Hold on. Right, come again. Turn, 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 turn. I want to what's up so today is January 9th it's Thursday and we are in Kumasi Ghana um, yesterday we got here but we literally slept all day from like 4 to like 12 in the <laughs> no, no I slept from like 4 to 12 and then 6 to 10 or so so we're about to go to the market. It's called what's it called? Kit something. The market. Katasia. We're going to Katasia. <laughs> That's how you say it. How you say it? I'm just saying because you were saying it wrong. Oh well, we're going to Katasia Market, which is supposed to be like the biggest market. Is it in West Africa? Mm -hmm. In West Africa. That's huge. Should in the continent. Oh, really? I see West Africa I when West I Google, Africa. which is gonna be real huge so we're excited to go there i know these girls want to shop until they drop i'm gonna spend all my AKA dollars geez. though aka you too it's all my Not cities like the only way. I'm anyways we are waiting for our uber so once our uber comes i'll check back in with you guys <laughs> Oh, this is crazy. Look at this traffic. Correction, correction. It's actually called Katia Market. Okay, sorry about that. But it starts. 
starts on the inside and then it goes outside. This place is huge. There are so many people. It's so freaking busy. So, uh, I don't know. My mind is going crazy right now. But we're gonna start on the inside and then work our way outside, I guess, because it's hot as hell. So this is the inside. I feel like all of these little silver things that you can see right here are supposed to be the shop, but it's closed, honey. So we're about to go outside and shop over there. Guys, what just happened was pretty, pretty crazy. So we went through, we were walking and we went through this area where there's a bunch of dudes, like a bunch of guys. First person tried to holla at Shantae or something, but grabbed her like really, really, really tight and literally was just holding on to her. And then we were walking through another place, some guy grabbed my hand, put his freaking hand around my shoulder like this and was holding it. And then Munchie was pulled, like we didn't know what was gonna happen, so we had to get out of there, so we left. Um, but yeah, we feel really uncomfortable here, so we're probably just gonna go leave. But it's a lot more quiet around this area. The place that we went to was bare guys, like just mans, mans all around. So yeah, it's more calm over here. That was not fun. Now I know why TripAdvisor suggested that you come with a local, cause if you come by yourself, good luck. So guys, we left out of that crazy ass market. Oh my gosh, it was so crazy in there. The guys were so, aggressive made us feel very very uncomfortable so we're gone and we're gonna try to find a mall or something that's a little bit more toned down because we literally just want to get shea butter um maybe some kente fabrics and that's it but like that was just too much for us way too much so we're about to call an uber or something right now Whew. a few moments later Alright guys, so we made it to Ike's, hopefully Ike's Cafe and Grill. We are about to eat something. Well, let me try this um, mojito. Lemon, just like I like it. <laughs> Lime flavor. <clears throat> Alright, yeah, so I got my meal. I got honey spicy chicken wings. I got a uh, uh, regular what is it called? house salad. And then I got some red fish. I got snapper. A few moments later. Then my love is your love. We don't think it's strong enough.
Welcome back. No, no, it's not scary at all. The best Ghanaian food ever. I'll give you one. I'm giving you five plates. Kokonte. Yes. Kinky. You know Banku? Banku. I had Banku. You had Banku. And Okrosti, right? No. Or crusty or or No, I don't eat fish. Oh. So I had banku with um, pepe. Yes. What about ghost um, Okay. Yeah. Fufu. No. no, I didn't have. Can you just watch so is that this um, a uh, rice right. mixed with beans? Watch it. Oh. Yeah, man, watch it. Describe watch it. I know. Rice and beans. Yeah. Rice and beans. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> what about yeah. ampesi? Yes. Oh, we have ampesi, yam, cassava, no, plantain, yeah. cocoa, yam, no, no, no. anything. Yeah. Three. 